Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense. Today, we're gonna to be looking at one of the most expensive stocks in the US stock market. That is BKNG, Booking Holdings. This stock is currently $3,627, but my big question is, does this stock deserve to be $3,600 or should it be valued much lower or much higher? We'll break down some data points into a relative stock price. We'll look and see what insiders are doing. We'll see what institutions and hedge funds are doing. And we'll draw some lines to see if there are any uh, resistance or support areas to watch for. Let's jump on in. All right, so this chart looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is what you want in a stock. Like you buy it and it just goes up and to the right. Um, if you know me, you know I like to look at the bigger picture. So let's just see what, the, look at this, I think it was beautiful. 2012, if you would have purchased it, almost a 10X, almost. Wow, so here was the great lockdown, the whole COVID thing. The stock has about tripled from then, okay. I mean, this is just a hot stock. So, I mean, looking at these, Sales, this you can't beat this. Like, look at this 21 billion in sales for 2023. EPS exploding way beyond the pre COVID levels, way beyond pre COVID levels. Shares outstanding, they are not diluting shareholders. These shares are being naturally accumulated, which is why you see them going down. At some point, they are going to have to do a split because there's only 33 million shares available. I don't know how many more years they have until the pool gets purchased. So, uh, let's go ahead and run my calculation and see what the possible stock price could or should be. So the company has a 123 billion, 960 million market cap. They have 4 billion, 290 million in income. Insane. Plus, they do 21 billion, 360 million in revenue. Just absolutely incredible. All right, uh, going down to their balance sheet. Let's see what we got here. So they have 12 billion in cash plus 12 billion, 711 million. Insane. Total assets is 24 billion. Total liabilities is 27 billion. Google what happens when you have more liabilities than assets. I'll wait. Okay, uh, they have long-term debt of minus twelve billion eight hundred and fifty-six million. Okay, um, that is dangerous. That is dangerous. I wonder if that was raised as a flag. Mm, earnings were on the 22nd of February. Uh, yeah, I don't see any, any, nobody's thrown up the flag yet, but having more liabilities and assets is a huge red flag. If you're a billion dollar company or a super small company. So we're gonna take this divided by 33,880,000. So this is a $4,411 stock. Based off my calculations right now, it's 3627. Uh, Seaport Research has it very close to mine. Oppenheimer, very close to mine as well. Actually, Oppenheimer. Nope, so mine's a little bit higher than Seaport. Um, wow. I mean, this is a monster company. They have so much money in cash. Why don't they pay off some of their debt? Ah, oh, man. Anyway, okay. Um, what are institutions and hedge funds doing with this? Let's see. BKNG. So the old data shows that institution and hedge funds own 94%. New data shows 107%, so a 13% increase. Okay, interesting. Vanguard, BlackRock, of course. Vanguard decreased. 
BlackRock increased. Capital World Investors, new owner. Excuse me. All right, so this is clearly just... I mean, this was trading in 20, at 23 bucks. It's just crazy. Okay, uh, let's draw some lines. Let's just draw some lines. Just drawing some lines. Does this... This is a fair. I like that. I like that. Okay, so will the stock price ever get down here? So during the the great lockdown, the stock went from two thousand to one thousand. About a 50% decrease. So about a 50% decrease from here would be about 1800, which I do, it could possibly come back and touch this. So I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create an alert for this for under 2000. BKNG under 2000. Okay, I feel comfortable with that. Okay, so booking holdings, honestly looks like it's a solid stock. I do just wanna wait for a dip because it has gone up so incredibly much. Um, my dip area is gonna be around 1800 at the moment. I don't know if we're gonna get there. Um, however, I also do think uh, travel demand is strong. I'm traveling more than I ever have this year. Flights are pretty booked. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it just, it all comes down to the credit. If we're going to have a credit event, are people going to get saddled with paying back student loans? I mean, they're supposed to, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Consider subscribing. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any stocks you want me to check out. Have a great weekend. Bye.